Hey, how's it going everyone? HFT or Happy Fun Times here, back with another Don't Starve Together video. Uh, and today I will be talking about the new Twitch drop, the Salt Lamp uh, Lantern. <laughs> uh, it's a mouthful for me, sorry. Or apparently it is. Aside from that, um, I have brought uh, two of each, one to show off, one to show on. I will be showing uh, these ones on come nighttime. In a little bit I'll just swap it over tonight basically. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about, obviously, there are actually three different lantern skins that you can acquire in the game. Unfortunately for me, I do not have the Winter's Feast one here, because I did not play the game at the time when that was available. I started playing Don't Start Together a uh, year, almost a year and a half ago, maybe. Probably just a year, actually. Uh, my one friend gifted, uh, gifted it to me during summer, so, yeah. 90% sure it was last year. Time fucking flies and is, it's very unclear to me. But, I digress. I'm happy to have two lantern skins now and both of them I really, really adore. It's actually gotten to the point where I'm torn between the Tesla and the Salt. I don't know which one I want to use because I love the Tesla Coil Lantern because it's my first lantern skin that I got. Uh, the Tesla Coil Lantern, if you do not know, is an exclusive to the Wilson Funko Pop, or you can buy it on the Steam store, or the Steam uh, community market. Would not recommend that you do that, mostly because of the fact that this lantern on the community market is worth more than the Funko Pop with the lantern. I think it's like almost 30 bucks, it's like 20, 20 something. Probably show you in a little bit. Uh, when I'm done showing this off and going back to the menu menu and showing off the uh, portrait background and icon, should have had it should have had it prepared right here, but unfortunately I did not because I am not smart nor did I think about that. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually conflicted and torn between the Tesla and the salt uh, the salt lamp. They're both very nice. I, I will say the Tesla or the original make more sense than this, but this one is very pretty in terms of color. You'll see right here when I turn these on. The standard lantern is like, you know, brightish, you know, yellow, a little bit of maybe some orange in there. The Tesla is more of a purple with a nice little static electricity effect to it, which I honestly genuinely love. And then of course you have the salt rock lamp or the salt lamp uh, lantern has a nice bright and shiny crystally kind of uh, warm reddish orange more orange than anything it's like a nice deep orange with some white sparkles around it. it is very lovely it is very pretty obviously I'm going to craft all three lanterns right now to hold in my hand to show you what they all look like obviously that is what it looks uh, what the standard one looks like in hand if you've played this game before and you've actually used uh, used this thing before you already fucking know you're not stupid you're not an idiot the next lantern obviously is going to be the salt one mostly because I like having the Tesla coil ones already selected and what's weird is when you hold this one up while it's lit behind this one nothing really happens with the lighting but when you hold it uh, by in front of the Tesla coil somehow it emits a red color I don't know how they did that or why they did that but I actually really like it clay if that's a bug do not fix it I actually really like that it's pretty but no um the difference between holding you know this lantern and whenever you turn it to the side if, if he'll do it right there see it looks fine but when you hold this one out and you turn it to the side, it looks like it could fall out of the basket at a moment's notice. It doesn't really look like it's properly adhered to the basket. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it to afternoon so at least we got a nice little variety of colors between them. Very vibrant, very pretty. I also like how this little aura around the lantern uh, basically is, it's like it's on a turntable where when the lantern turns, it doesn't turn with it. Just kind of easy breezy movement right there. But I genuinely do love that one nonetheless. It's a little, it's, it's pretty big, it's pretty bulky, but, you know, Tesla Coil is still a very much respected choice in my opinion. Mostly because I got this, oh, I should, I didn't even know that that changed, or turned with it, or didn't turn with it. Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So the Tesla Coil, again, will always have a special place in my heart and in my inventory and for use. And honestly, normally I just craft two lanterns, I normally craft... Uh, two Tesla coils, 
and I just keep them in my backpack just in case, like, oh, if this one runs out, swap over to this one, basically. But now that I have two individual lanterns, or two individual lantern skins I can enjoy, I can use this one up first, or any time, well, I have to pick one to use, obviously, for first off. Like, I, have, I can't just start with this one and then move straight to the Tesla coil, because, well, that really wouldn't make sense, would it? I'd be wasting both lanterns at the exact same time in equal distribution, which that is not really the point. I'd rather use one at a time. Uh, that being said, though, I really do love the salt uh, lamp. I'm just going to call it the salt lantern. I really do love the salt lantern because it is, again, very pretty. I'm very much fond of salt rock lanterns or lamps that you have that people have. I'm sure if you go to like any knickknack or novelty shop or any kind of store that sells like you know crafted things or homemade things that people make to sell to you, I'm sure someone. I'm, I'm sure you'll find one of these bad boys. Just a fucking hollowed out salt rock with a fucking LED light or light bulb in it that you can, you know, swap out and change whenever it goes bad. Uh, or an LED with, like, little double A's or triple A's that you could stick in there to light it up. It makes for a very pretty, pleasant uh, night light, which is probably why I genuinely adore this lantern as much as I do. Not only does it look pretty, um, it looks pretty well, you know, well, it looks pretty both on and off, I guess. I also love the effect around it. It is very nice to walk around at nighttime or during the day. I'm not sure why I would. Just in in the caves or just in general. <laughs> it looks nice. It really looks nice. Does it look like it fits and don't start together? Hell no. Does it? I, am I fucking complaining about it? Hell no. Tesla coil looks like it fits and don't start together, but only because of Mad Scientist Wilson, which I'm actually about to go swap towards right now. Mostly because... Well, why the fuck not? Uh, we will go fucking Science Man Wilson. I could easily do this video a lot better by just simply, you know, editing and shit, but I'm still kind of like working on getting, you know, the right software that's easy to use, that's not retarded, that doesn't have any watermarks that I don't really need to fucking spend money on or anything. I'm sure that's easy. I'll ask one of my other friends when they're available if they can help me with such a task. Or unless anyone in the comments has a suggestion for that, you are more than absolutely welcome to do that. Uh, for this though, I think I'm either... Yeah, I'm gonna just go with that. Standard scientist, because he doesn't actually have shoes. Now you look at this and you tell me... You look at this and you tell me that this Tesla coil lantern does not fit with the Science Wilson. Or the Mad Scientist Wilson. To me, it, it is night and day, and I honestly can't wait for the next for for this upcoming year's Hallowed Night so I can experience this uh, with the Mad Scientist outfit with Wilson. I don't really play Wilson all that much anyway, but you get what I mean. Well, actually, I don't need to change. It's fine. That being said, though, uh, let me just go ahead and craft the other two again. Just one more time. And just to keep it on that one when I craft it, there we go. So, well, again, one other thing that's cool about this is when you look at it right here on the ground, tell me that doesn't look like a giant ass fucking hot piece of coal or magma in like a little steel cage that you would see in like, I don't know, a medieval style video game or comic book or movie or something like that. It really looks like something, you know, like just a hot ass piece of rock inside of a fucking metal or steel cage. In your hand though, again, it is a very nice, bright, beautiful glow, and I genuinely do adore it. But the Tesla coil will always have a spe uh, special place in my heart. If you can actually uh, get the means to get yourself a Wilson Funko Pop to get this item, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Don't really need, need to be putting these down, but I'm happy that I have a uh, both these lantern skins because now instead of having two Tesla coil I can easily have a Tesla coil and one of these so when you run into that you got the other one to go to or if I run into that I got this one to go to and either one I'm not complaining about so one thing I highly recommend is if you don't know how to get twitch drops what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna link your clay account with your Twitch. 
How do you do that? Click on the option for Twitch drops on the main menu for Don't Start Together, and... Well, that one went out because it, it got put down first. Click on the option for the main menu. I will show you that right now. I'm not going to click it and read it to you, but I am going to show it to you where to click it to find it yourself. So, right here. Just click this. It'll tell you how to link your clay to your Twitch. Once you link your clay account to your Twitch account, um, just go on, to, go on to Twitch, type Don't Start Together, and just watch some random streams. Don't watch any random stream. Make sure w when you look underneath the video where the title and whatnot are, make sure there is some bright, bold blue text that says Drops Enabled. If you see the text that says Drops Enabled, just basically leave that on or watch... You don't have to watch it, you can just leave it on playing in the background if your PC or internet's that good to do that. And 20 to 30 minutes is the icon, which I will show those off right now. For 20 to 30 minutes of watching a Clay Don't Start Together or Don't Start Together stream, not necessarily by Clay, but just Don't Start in general or Don't Start Together, I mean, you get the salt lamp uh, icon, which is very nice. It's got a nice little maroon uh, color to it. It's very pretty, very nice. I'm gonna stick with the bunny though, because that one's my personal favorite. It just looks cute. Uh, aside from that, if you watch for two hours, you get obviously this very beautifully, beautifully done background and nice. Uh, light reds, pinks, whites, reds, dark reds. I absolutely, mwah, I fucking love it. It's a, it's genuinely, absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful to say the least, and it will catch the attention of quite a bit of people. For those that actually rarely, and uh, you know, knowingly go and look at your, uh, at your uh, profile and whatnot. And for watching in a total of six hours, you will receive this lantern reskin. Now I know what you're thinking. Happy six hours? That's a long time. Like I said, you you don't have to watch it. Uh, you can just leave it in the background. And like, oh well, well, I gotta go and do something. Do I have to watch it all in one go? Hell no, you don't gotta watch it all in one go. You can watch it for like, let's say, five minutes now. If you gotta go do something, you know, go somewhere, go shopping. I don't know. Uh, read a book or something, you just turn it off, come back later on, that five minutes will still be on the timer. So you come back, you watch uh, a total of, let's say you watch for five hours, obviously, I've already given the example, but you watch for five hours, you leave, you come back, you watch for one more hour, boom, lantern. Time adds up the, m the longer you watch it. Whatever time you left off at is the amount of time that it will stop at and pick up on once you actually... Uh, start watching Twitch streams again. Now this video is a little bit retarded, a little bit uh, fumbly and whatnot. Not as good a quality as it could be, and I do genuinely apologize for that. But it, at this moment in time, it is genuinely the best I can do in terms of content. And I appreciate those that actually decided to stick around and watch. If y'all want to see me do uh, videos similar to this, or basically the exact same as this, for the other items such as the Crystalline Furnace, the Crystalline Honey Dome, the Salt Shaker, the... Um, the wardrobe, the coal fire pit, all these other amazing, you know, Twitch drops, not that one, that one was a login bonus uh, during Return of Them, when that reached the main branch of the game for the first time. Uh, I will gladly do videos about these, talk about them, give my opinion, and if you want to see the difference between certain skins or whatever, or if you just want me to have a video just completely about skins, let me know in the comments, and I will gladly do it. As a matter of fact, fucking... I'll probably end up making that like and more of these videos and pumping a couple out to d over the course of today, tomorrow, and maybe the rest of this week, if people actually want to see them. De again, depending on what kind of feedback and comments I get, more than likely they're going to be positive. Aside from that, I might be streaming relatively soon, if not in like I don't know, uh, 20 to 30 minutes to an hour. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, which is why this video is kind of long. Uh, I'm either going to be streaming Don't Starve Together, Team Fortress 2, um, Plants vs. Zombies is definitely on that list of things that I could do, um, Undertale and Deltarune are optional, uh, you're, you're welcome to suggest them, Undertale and Deltarune are two good, are two amazing games that I really wanted to play and stream, 
at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do them today, even if they get suggested, but if they do get suggested, I will take that into consideration. Also, if you do want to suggest content for me to make, or, you know, instead of me uh, giving you options via videos, I have a Discord and a Steam group. Discord link is in the description. If you want to suggest games, feel free to go there and let me know in the general chat what you want to see me play and when you want to see me play it. Or, no, if I ask something, sorry, let me rephrase that. If I give a list of things uh, to stream, let me know in general chat. If you have any general suggestions of what you want to see me do or play, there is a suggestions channel right there. So let's say maybe today you want to see me play another game, maybe you want to see me record it, maybe you want to see me stream it. That's the way to do it, that's the way to get it. I'm also debating on potentially streaming a little bit of, or maybe Don't Star Shipwrecked. So again, if you want to suggest one of these games for me to do or stream today, do let me know either via the comments or if you want to my Discord group. You do not have to join the Discord group, but it is the easiest way to actually get your word out there and suggest games when I do them. Although it's not really worth joining the Discord group because the group is pretty, uh dormant for the most part because I don't really do much of anything but I'm working on turning that around mostly due to the fact that now for the most part I'm I'm, I'm doing pretty solid for the time being knock on wood hopefully that don't change but no yeah this was the video thank you all so much for watching can't wait to see uh, what anyone has to say if anyone has to say anything at all so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Links to everything is in, is in the description, such as Don't Starve, Don't Starve Together, Undertale, Deltarune, the links with the associated channels that I work with. I say associated, but they're all good friends of mine. Uh, my Twitch, my Steam, uh, and my Twitter. I don't do anything on Twitter, but you're more than welcome to. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, see you all in a... Uh, sorry. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next live stream video, whichever comes first. Have yourselves a good day. Bye-bye.